In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the Properties tool to get detailed information about civil elements. We're also going to take a look at how to use the Explorer tool, which is used to browse and manage data in the design file. So to begin, we're going to go up to the Home tab on the ribbon, select the Properties icon. That'll bring up the Properties panel. And then from here, we have an option to dock it to the left or the right side of the screen. So if you just grab it from the top here, You'll notice there's two graphics that show up on the left and the right side of your screen. So to dock it to the left, just simply drag it onto that graphic and it will dock to the left side of the screen. Now at this point, what we want to do is select one of the civil elements. So in this case, I want to go ahead and select my Route 97 alignment so we can get some more detailed information about this particular element. So you can see right away in the properties panel populates. And in the top portion of the dialog, it shows you that there's an alignment here, a complex element called Route 97. And it shows you all the different elements that make up that particular alignment. So that's listed at the top portion of the panel here. The general panel here will show you the level name, the color, the line style, and the weight. If you expand the geometry group, you'll see the starting and ending point coordinates, the X and the Y values for the alignment. If you expand the feature panel, you'll see the feature definition is geom underbar baseline. Feature name is route 97. If you expand the extended group, you'll see the model name. It'll give you information about when the file was last modified as well as the display style. And then finally, we have the stroking definition values, which are set in the stroking definition panel. So that's some of the more detailed information you can get by using the properties panel. Could take a look at some of the other elements in the file as well. So let's go ahead and select the London Road alignment. You can see how the properties panel changes. And you have some of that same information. So up at the top, once again, you have the alignment name and you have all the civil geometry elements that make up that particular alignment. You have the general panel, geometry panel, feature, extended, and stroking definition. So that works pretty much across the board for all civil elements. To deselect the alignment, all you have to do is simply left click into the view and that will clear the properties panel. Once you're done, you can simply close the properties by clicking on the X and that will remove it from the left side of the screen. Okay, the next tool I want to talk about is the Explorer tool, which can be found on the Home tab as well under the Primary Ribbon group. Let's go ahead and activate the Explorer. It's typically used to browse and manage the content within a design file. Let's go ahead and open that. And you'll notice we have some different panels here that are available to us. We have items, open roads model, sheet index, open roads standards, drainage and utilities model, and survey. We're going to focus on the open roads model. So let's go ahead and expand that group. The open roads model, this is used to display the civil data that's stored inside of your design file. So you can see here our design file, it's called geometry.dgn. If we left click on this arrow here, this will expand the list. And you'll see here that now we have a bunch of civil categories here listed. And what we have here in this file, again, are just alignments. So if we expand this particular alignment group or this alignment category, you'll see we have various feature definitions that were being used for our alignments. If you expand each one of those groups, you'll see the different civil elements or alignments that are associated to those particular feature definitions. And when you select one, you'll notice that it highlights in the view. By doing a right click, that gives us access to some other tools that we can use. So we can delete, zoom to, we could zoom, we can isolate, clear, isolate, and we have some other civil tools that we can use as we go through the design process. So take a moment and just explore some of the alignments in the file here and how this operates with inside of the open roads model. So you can see here just selecting each one of these highlights it in the view. If you do a right click and you say zoom to, it will zoom you to that particular element and give you a closer look at the data. So that's essentially how the open roads model works. Notice there's other categories here for other civil elements that would be stored in this file. Since we're just dealing with alignments, we only have the alignments available to us. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.